Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Well, that's a good looking beach there. Makes me hot standing out here. Next time for a beer. What do you think? Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from American Brewing Company and they're out of Edmonds, Washington. This is the Breakaway IPA, India Pale Ale, guys. Uh, I don't see any dating on the label, but there may be something on the bottle. So we'll take a look at that when we come back for the final chug. I picked this bottle up when I went down to... Uh, Total Wine down in Greensboro, North Carolina, the last trip down there, and not seen this beer or any of their beers uh, here in Virginia. So it's it's a shame that they can get these beers down there and we can't get them here. Chaps my ass. <laughs> I don't know why they can get them there and we cannot get them here. It just blows my mind that uh, they can get them and we can't. So, with that being said, let's get on with this one. Uh, it is an American IPA coming in at 7.20 ABV. Uh, availability, it says here, is year-round. The uh, food products for this beer is your typical IPAs. Uh, the food is curried in the Thai food. And the cheeses are the peppery, moderate, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, your more uh, pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, limburger. The meat for this is poultry, fish, shellfish, salmon, and grilled meat. The glassware is a pint Becker Stein the mug of Seidel. I got the pint glass today for this one. And it's not recommended for extended cellaring. Of course, being a 7.2 ABV, it will keep, but the hops will fade over time. That's why the dating on these IPAs is so critical. And especially if they're not doing it but, you know, once a year, it would be different. But if you're brewing it, brewing it uh, year-round, you don't know when the bottle was put out. So, I mean, if they had on their website or whatever that they did this uh, in March or April or at the end of the hop growing season uh, in September or October, you would basically know, you know, without a year uh, when it was done. But, I mean, if it's sat on a shelf for a year or two, you don't even know that. So, hopefully, there'll be some kind of dating on this bottle. And we'll check when we come back with the bottle. Uh, don't think there's anything else when you discuss them here. Uh, it's got a hockey player on the front of the bottle here with some hops, cop cones, and other than saying it's 7.2 percent alcohol by volume, and it's brewed by American Brewing Company. Uh, enjoy and recycle is basically all it says uh, on the label here, guys. So. I don't think there's anything else. Let's see what the uh, commercial description says. Breakaway IPA is made with Vienna and Munich Mops to give this beer a its malty flavor blended with a generous amount of Amarillo and Simcoe hops, which gives this beer its signature citrusy character. The starting gravity is about 15 degrees Play-Doh, which means that the alcohol by volume is around 7%. The label says 7.2, so... Let's get the cap off of this one and give it a glass. Here we go, and this is in the bomber size, the 22 ounce. Alrighty, over, it looks pretty orangey. Over into the light, uh, it's got a slight chill haze on it, not very cloudy. I can see the light though, but the bulb is not perfectly clear like some of the beers are. Uh, fair amount of carbonation streaming up from the bottom of the glass. It didn't pour a massive head. I poured it semi-aggressive, so we just got basically like a quarter of an inch of lacing covering the top of the beer. So let's get a nose on this one. This one come all the way across the country, so hopefully it's fairly fresh. We'll see. I'm getting a citrusy, piney smell. Not super big as far as the aroma. 
and I do smell some some maltiness there from the Vienna and the uh, the Munich moss that they use. So hopefully it's a fairly balanced beer. It smells very pleasant in the glass. I'm getting a nice hop aroma, not overpowering. And coming from Washington, where they grow a lot of hops over there on the northwest uh, coast, uh, it, it should have some fairly decent hop profile. So, let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. I'm getting actually more malt than hops. Not getting too much of the alcohol, just a slight hint of it, not much. I was actually expecting it to be just a little hoppier than what it is for an IPA. There is a nice bitterness to the back end, but I don't think it's quite as balanced as it could have could have been. And like I said, I'm not sure how old this bottle is. Uh, we'll check a dating when I come back on the final chug, but a nice malt presence with the Vienna and Munich malts. And a, like I said, if this bottle is more than six months old, the hot profile has faded some. So, I'm on the fence on this one right now. This one's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. We're going to let it warm up just a hair, and I'm going to share the other half of the bomber here with the other half, see what she thinks of it. And we'll come back and do the final chug and check a dating on the bottle and give you some final comments. So, stick around. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left in this glass. I'm not super impressed with this beer and mainly the reason because of that. I've looked at the bottle and there is no dating so I kind of think this may be an older beer. It doesn't have a lot of junk in it but it does have some sediment in the bottom of it so I, uh, not super impressed. To me it seems like it's more maltier than it is hoppy and that's what happens when uh, hoppy beers set around for a while so the hop fades over time and you get more of the malt than you do of the hop so let's do the final chug on this one for a pass judgment final chug here guys definitely not hop forward and I don't know if that is their intention on this beer using the malt that they used it does have a, a bitter back end but it's definitely not hop forward or have a big hoppy aroma in this beer. So I think it may be an older bottle. So before I would buy this beer again, it would have to have a date on it for me, guys. Especially if we're distributing from Washington all the way over here to the East Coast. Uh, so that's what I have to say about this beer. It is uh, definitely not hop forward. It is a good beer, don't get me wrong. But I think it would be a better beer if it was a fresh bottle. And I have no idea how to tell if it is or not because there's no dating. So, with that being said, if it had a date on it, guys, I would probably give this a 6, which is a solid B. But since it has no dating on it whatsoever and it doesn't have a strong hop forward profile for an IPA using the Simco hops and, and, and uh, they did on this, but usually it has a great big hoppy aroma because I use Simcoe on my beers when I uh, dry hop them and stuff and it really really stands out uh, as far as being a super hoppy beer and this is not uh, I think the, the malt is a, more overpowering than the hops are in this beer so with that being said let's go over to the ratings beer advocate says it's 83 which is in a good range I agree it's a good beer but nothing exceptional or outstanding and rate beer says overall 91 so that leads me to believe that this beer probably is a good beer if it's fresh the um, and that is the overall rating and in the style they give it 81 I'm down with that it doesn't fit the IPA style I could almost be a pale ale but it would be a little bit too bitter on the back end for a pale in my opinion just my opinion but uh, if you had this one uh, give me some comments back on it whether you liked it or, or didn't like it uh, or 
what you have to say about it. Uh, this, uh, this beer should be hoppier than what it is coming from Washington State and uh, using the hops that they use in this beer. So uh, I swear I'm going to leave it. Uh, I think it's, it could be better if it was fresher and I have no idea how to tell if it's fresh or not with no dating on it. So with that being said guys, if you've had this one, like I said, give me some comments back on this one and uh, let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe we can find a little hoppier beer than this or something a little tastier. Come on back tomorrow and we'll see you together. We'll go see what's in the fridge. See you then.